We continue now at the top of Daf Mem Hayam and Aleph and Meseches Nedarim. This is Nedarim Daf 45a. The Gemara says, Yiboy Yisem, if you want, I could say another approach within Rabbi Yossi. Hadeafkere ba'an pe'trein, v'hadeafkere ba'an pe'tlos. In one case, we're talking where the hefker was done in front of two people. In the other case, we're talking where the hefker was done in front of three people. And the Mefarish says, Kegon de lo afkere ela ba'an pe'trein. If the hefker is done only in front of two people, v'hadeachi katani Rabbi Yossi. In such a situation, Rabbi Yossi said, v'mas nisin in our Mishnah, to also that it's also by a mudr hana, meaning if you try to use hefker to indirectly give the benefit to the mudr hana, that's not going to work. To lo have hefker, because it's not really hefker, calls man to lo as long as it hasn't come to the hands of the person who is receiving it or who takes it. Aval hecha da afkere ba'abe be tlosa have hefker. However, Rabbi Yossi would say in a situation where the hefker is done in front of three people, then it actually would be an effective hefker. The alpha gav de lo as even though it did not come to the hands of the other other individual of the Zoha, still it would be Hefker. Vechikatani, the Potter, and Amaiser, and that explains the Bryce on the previous summit. The Bryce on the previous summit where we said that it is actually Hefker, and the produce is Potter from Meiser, that's talking, so that's talking, where the Hefker was done in front of three people. And the Gemara continues, Diyam Rabbi Yochanan, Mishum Rabbi Shimon ben Yehot Sadak. Rabbi Yochanan says in the name of Rabbi Shimon ben Yehot Sadak, Kol ha-ma'afkir bifnei shlosha, have a hefker. Anybody who makes something hefker in front of three people, so it is going to be hefker. Bifnei shnayim lo have a hefker. But if it's only in front of two people, so it is not going to be hefker. And the Gemara continues, Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, Yomar. Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi says, Devar Torah on a Doraisa level, Afilu be'echad have a hefker. Really, even in front of one person, or even with one person, it's going to be hefker. Umat ha'amamru b'shloshen, what's the reason why they said it should be done in front of three people? K'day she'yehei echad zoche, u'shnayim me'idin. In this way, if one person takes the item, and he makes it his, you can have two witnesses there, two people to witness that he took it. And we'll take a look at the Mefarish over here, for Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, Yomar. According to Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi, even with one person, even if it did not get to the Rishos of the Zoha, have a Hefker la'alter, it's going to be Hefker immediately. Why do we have three people? So you could have two witnesses. If you only had two people, so if one of the people would take the item, who's going to be able to testify that this thing was made Hefker? And again, really, according to Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, it will immediately be Hefker, Vahainu Kerabonan. And that follows the Rabonan, the Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, Svir like Kerabonan. Rabbi Yoshua ben Levi, he holds like the Rabonan, he does not hold like Rabbi Yossi. Hadran Allah Ein Bein Hamudra. This is the conclusion of the fourth parak of Mesechas Nadarim. If you're enjoying these videos and this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. And please take a look at the description box below to see how you can support this channel. And in the next video, we will begin the fifth parak of Mesechas Nadarim. And Daf Memhei Amud Beis.